All right, guys, today we're gonna to be installing this right here. This is the Bass Fishing Electronics Power Pull Light. So this is a super awesome little power pull light. It's gonna mount right here on your power pull. Super easy to install. So if you guys are ready, let's jump in. Let's install this here today. So first off, it comes with everything you might need. All you're gonna need is a couple tools. It comes with some nice instructions, wire ties, some sticky things that will allow you to run the wires down inside the blades and uh, the bolts, even the, the uh, butt connectors that you need to, to connect it to your light post. Okay, so of course, you know, it comes with easy directions. First step, we're gonna take off the bolts up here at the top of the spike. So this is a 7 16 socket. Just gonna take these off here. Now, you are going to reuse the washers, but not the bolt or the nut. So these, we're not gonna reuse. I'm just gonna set them here for now. We're gonna reuse this washer. Reuse this washer. So let's set those here. those bolts out okay now there's a couple washers on this side as well so you're going to want to take these off these old these power pole bolts and uh, we're not going to use these bolts any longer so those go with those now it, the light comes with two different bolts depending on the model power pole you have so i have the blades i'm going to use the two inch bolts just a little bit shorter the other ones are two and a quarter inch for the pro and sportsman's model power poles but we have the blade so we're going with this right here so like i said we're going to reuse these so we're going to put this on here put this on here slide these back through all right reuse these washers Now, it's time to take our light and mount it on there. Just like that, the, the bracket here with, with the light is pre-threaded to fit these, so literally all you do is tighten those bolts and you are good to go. Let's get our socket. We're tight. So we got our light mounted. Now it's time we're gonna run the wire down along the inside of the, the channel here. Run it up through here, along our hydraulic cables into the billage of the boat and then connect it to our wire over here and we are good to go. Okay, so before you run your wire and you use your, your little sticky pads to, to hold the wire up there, it's a good idea to clean it with just a little bit of alcohol-based cleaner just to make sure that the, the pad sticks on there so your wire doesn't fall off and end up getting pinched and uh, breaking the wire. So we're just wiping down inside the channel here. Get that clean. All right, then you're gonna take your wire here. And we're gonna run it through the very first hole here on the channel. Let's pull that all the way down through, just like that. So it's gonna sit just like that. Perfect, not gonna get pinched, anything like that. So that is good, secure, ready to go. All right, now we're gonna take one of these. So it comes with four of them, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four. So first up, we're gonna take this here, 
zip tie our wire to it. Like that. Cut that off to peel our sticky pad off. We're going to take this and stick it right to the top of the channel here. And that's going to hold your wire in place inside your power pole channel so it doesn't fall down. All right, then you're going to want to take your wire and run it above all of these. You want to make sure it's above these brackets here. Run that down. We're just going to go ahead and run it all the way down here to the piston. Okay, now we're going to put another pad right here. Get that up in there. All right, we're gonna put another one here right at the piston just to make sure that that wire stays out of the way and doesn't get pinched. All right. So now we wanna run our wire along with this hydraulic tube as close to it as possible through the top of the channel here on the top of the piston. Get our wire ran all the way down to here. We're gonna use our last pad right down here at the base of the pole. All right, now you want to run the rest of your wire through with your hydraulic tubes here. And it's going to pop out up here. Pull that through with that. So, this is where you're going to take your, your extra zip ties and uh, choose one of the hydraulic tubes. We're going to go with this one right here. We're going to zip tie. Your light power cable, it's one of those. You don't want to make them too tight, just enough to hold it there. Hold it there, make it nice and neat.
All right, now we're gonna get our wire pushed through this grommet into the bilge of the boat. All right, so once you get your wire in all the way down to here, what we're gonna do is pop this grommet out. Makes it a lot easier to get your wire ran through there. Now every boat may be a little different on how your power pull hydraulics are ran into your boat. So this, this part may be a little bit different. Make sure we run it into the bilge. And there we go, we've got our light installed and ran the wire into the boat. Now's the easy part. Just connecting the electrical to your light socket and you're ready to go. All right guys, so I went ahead and ran my wire through my village up to my light socket. You're gonna wanna take some cutters and snip this off. You wanna make sure you leave enough that you can uh, strip a little bit off and splice into your new wires. And uh, down on this end, Here's a little tip for you guys. I took one of these extra wire ties that came with the, the light and I wire tied these together. So these are the lights that were connected to my light socket and I wire tied the, the wire from the light together just so they don't fall in there and you lose them. So that, now they're together, they're in one piece and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, splice these together with the butt connectors that have been supplied. So gray goes with red, black goes with black, just like that. All right. Now that you got these connected, you can go ahead and take a heat gun or a lighter and you want to heat shrink these connections so they're nice and tight and waterproof and you are ready to go. Get our 
light socket back installed. All right guys, it's as easy as that to install your brand new BFE power pole light. Super easy, no more having to dig out your pole light out of the compartment, putting it in the socket. So, appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, you're all set with your brand new BFE power pole light.